Right, so Muslims across South Africa are expected to celebrate Eid al fitr marking the end of the month of Ramadan lecture at um, the Gatesville Mosque or the uh, Masjid al-Quds will be themed celebration and commemoration with special prayers for Gaza. Let's cross to Vanessa Puna for more. Vanessa, good morning. Talk us through what's happening on your end, the joyous and auspicious um, time, uh, occasion rather, at the Sawa. Given the severity of also what's um, happening in Gaza, coming to the fore. Yes, good morning to you. And Eid Salah or Eid prayers have just concluded at uh, the Gatesville Mosque. Of course, this is uh, the largest mosque in South Africa. And I'll just want to confirm that with the Imam of the mosque, uh, Sheikh uh, Abdurrahman Alexander. Yeah, of course, uh, you would know that uh, Eid marks the end of the holy month of Ramadan for Muslims. Uh, it is the ninth uh, month in the lunar based Muslim calendar and also the month in which uh, the Quran uh, was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad. I'm joined now by Imam, or rather uh, Sheikh uh, Alexander from the Gatesville Mosque. Sheikh, a very warm uh, good morning to you and may I say Eid Mubarak to you and uh, your congregants here. So of course uh, today um, uh, a, a, a celebration, I think the theme is celebration and commemoration. Of course Muslims across the world would uh, uh, this year in particular have an eye on what's happening in Palestine and in uh, Gaza. Uh, so a very brief message from you this morning Sheikh and then I'll bring in uh, the Molina who's also delivered the lecture a short while ago. Shukran, thank you very much for your warm greetings of Eid Mubarak. Yes, our theme for this Eid morning was celebration and commemoration. Celebration in the sense that we have fasted the entire month of Ramadan purely for the sake of Almighty God, Allah. And we feel that it is a spiritual exercise and discipline that brings you closer to Almighty God, but also in touch with the suffering and the pangs of hunger of the needy and the poor people. Also then commemoration in the sense that we, although we celebrate Eid, we spare a thought for our Palestinian brethren, mothers and fathers, brothers and sisters and little children and babies that are being massacred and the world is watching this. It is an open genocide committed by the Israeli army and we hope that the world will open its eyes and react positively to bring about the necessary peace and justice that there can be social harmony and peaceful living with each other in the Holy Land of Palestine, inshallah. Sheikh, thank you so much uh, for that message. Of course, we're going to bring in our Molina uh, Muhammad Avanka. Avanka, he's uh, delivered uh, the lecture here at the Gatesville Mosque this morning, um, and um, I'll bring him in now. But of course, the day of Eid uh, is generally one of celebration. Families come together, um, uh, feasting after a, a month-long uh, period of fasting, uh, reflection, as well as keeping uh, the needy and um, those who are less fortunate uh, in prayer and in memory. Uh, good morning to Molina. Um, you know, you, you've mentioned just now that uh, those who die in the, shall we say, liberation of Al-Aqsa, of course, uh, the, the, the mosque in, um, you know, in Gaza, in Gaza, in Palestine, you're saying that they, um, we, one shouldn't uh, feel depressed. Um, the images that one sees coming through um, specifically on, on the media, social media, etc. Uh, today, um, a huge focus then on that region um, as Muslims um, across South Africa celebrate Eid al-Fitr. Yes, absolutely. When we, although it's a joyous occasion for us, but we can we can never forget the plight of the Palestinians. And we spoke about it a few minutes ago. Is that we cannot become despondent. We need to have hope in the mercy of the Almighty. Uh, you know, today is the blessed day of Eid, where Muslims uh, globally, you know, get together and celebrate this great, uh, you know, day of Eid. And it is our belief that those that are, uh, you know, those that have passed on, uh, you know, may the Almighty grant them the highest, you know ranks in Jannah, you know, these atrocities that are being meted out on our innocent Palestinian brothers and sisters and these innocent children, you know, it has brought the entire, you know, world together. And, you know, so we sympathize on this blessed day. It's a happy occasion. It's a joyous occasion. But at the same time, you know, we pray for those, uh, you know, that are suffering, not only in Palestine, but in different parts of the world. So, you know, this was the message that we had delivered. Uh, you know, we cannot become despondent, add value to people's lives. And and like in English, they say, not everyone can do great things, but each and every one of us can do simple things, you know, in a great way.
Molina, thank you so much for your message this morning. Appreciated, of course, the uh, Molina Mohammed uh, Vanker speaking to us just shortly after delivering uh, the Eid uh, uh, lecture here at the uh, Gatesal Mosque in um, in Cape Town. Of course, behind me you will see. I'll just step out of shot very briefly. Uh, that, of course, uh, we still see quite a number of congregants um, outside the mosque. Uh, of course, it is a time for a community, a time for uh, families coming together. And in the background over there, um, if I can ask my colleague um, Lucanio just to show you, of course, uh, this mosque has had the Palestinian flag flying at half-mast uh, for decades now, of course, um, saying that it will remain so until the people of Palestine are free. And uh, we do know that uh, the rest of the day will be marked uh, with family gatherings uh, as well as people coming together. And then, of course, a special commemoration this year uh, for what has been happening over the past six months in Gaza. For that, um, we are, of course, wishing all our viewers um, Eid Mubarak. Um, to our Muslim viewers who are celebrating Vanessa Puna, bring us the latest outside of Gatesville Mosque.